Hey guys, this is Joshua. Just wanted to give you an update on OpenFL. So yesterday released OpenFL 2.2, and today it is January 1st, it is 2015. And looking back at all the changes that have happened this last year, I am just amazed at how many things have happened. Thank you so much for everyone who has contributed to make OpenFL great, and I think that this year is going to be even better pushing OpenFL forward. I wanted to let you all know that my, my focus in this new year uh, as I'm working full-time on OpenFL, is really driving in two things. I want to see more accessibility, and I want to see more stability. Now, when I say accessibility, I don't mean accessibility kind of in the traditional sense of, uh, you know, he, you know, hearing impaired or, or something else like that, although that would be good. What I mean by accessibility is I feel like there's been maybe a little bit of a, oh, you have to be special type of factor to get into OpenFL, to understand OpenFL. And I really don't want that to be the case. OpenFL is really designed to help anybody make a project. And comments like, well, if you don't understand how to use the command line, you don't have any business using OpenFL. We really don't want to have that kind of spirit moving forward. I really want to make OpenFL easier and easier to use. I want there to be more documentation and tutorials and resources and everything else so that people who want to jump in, people who want to develop something for the desktop or for mobile or for the web can get started doing that. Uh, ultimately, too, in, in stability, I think that we've had so much time to support the, the OpenFL API, the Flash API, that at this point, we really want to make sure that we're locking down some of these little edge cases, that if there are still little areas where OpenFL just isn't working quite consistently on one platform or another, we just want to try and lock those things down so that everything works the way that you expect. And all of this work, as we do this moving forward, we continue to make the platform more stable, more secure. And in the OpenFL Next platform, it literally is the same code base. So every improvement that we make on native is actually improving things for HTML5, so on and so forth. So I think there's a lot of really cool ideas of things that could be done moving forward. Uh, but we really want to be targeting these things. So... I just wanted to kind of give you guys a shout out. I'm really excited about this new release. It has a lot of great stuff in it and wanted to kind of open things up. So if you have ideas for how OpenFL can be getting better, if you have ideas for how we can make it easier for you to contribute or just to understand and get into, that's what it's for. Um, I'm really excited about, about OpenFL. I believe that it needs to exist. I think that uh, things get so complex when you get between different platforms, especially if you're trying to cross mobile and desktop or desktop and web and other targets like that. But it really doesn't have to be that complicated. And I think that through Hacks and through OpenFL, we've proven that it's possible to have an easy-to-use, fast, robust platform that works everywhere. So let's just drive in the stability and make it even better and even stronger so that the next person who walks along and gives it a try doesn't have to abandon because, you know, oops, this one problem and I didn't know how to fix it. But it's just a smooth sailing all the way. So that's my goal, and that's what I want to see this year. But I also want to hear what you guys want to see this year as well. So thank you guys so much for everything. And um, I'm excited. I think the 2014 was a great year. And I'm really looking forward to what's going to happen over the next 6 to 12 months.